Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. Trying to get my everyone. Stuff all worked out here tonight. Got Danny and Tiffany, Crystal, Katie, Catherine. Oh, I like Lady P. That's fun. Jen. Kelly. Hello. Raquel. How's everyone doing? I won't be able to hear. I'm fine. I'll go in there. No, you're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> To your classes. Yeah. Hey, Andrea, my great how are you? I am just fine. That's so cute, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, hang on one second. Hi. We got Sam and Danny. Welcome. I'm glad everyone could come. I know it was kind of a last minute call, but I figured people would probably be happier being on this Monday instead of Labor Day. Right, you. You want your triangle? Triangle. Uh, to meet someone. Oh. Oh, All right, while we're waiting for people to pop on, anyone want to share anything exciting that's happened with their business this this month or this weekend? Anybody? Have I'd anything? like to share. Okay, go. I am. It's either twenty six or thirty two dollars away from hitting my one thousand dollar mark. Yay! Yeah. Good job. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. So about one buy three get one order. Right, which nice. I think I have tomorrow. I was going to say with a whole nother day. That's amazing. Yep, I'm excited. Yeah, you should be. Anybody else have anything <laughs> they want to share? We're going to give people. It's not even quite eight o'clock, so we're giving people a few more minutes. I, would, I, want to share I, I don't mind sharing. To celebrate. I don't mind sharing. Okay, let's hear it. Um, I joined end of July, and I'm just under two hundred away from my thousand dollars. Yes, great. So, um, so, what's the what's your jump start date? Uh, I don't know if it's like by tomorrow or by Wednesday. Do you know how I, to check that? It's 35 days from July, I think, 28th. If you go into your virtual office and go to the tab team and scroll down to jumpstart, it's going to give you your date so you can see exactly okay. so you don't have to worry. All right. I yeah, will check that. Out. Definitely check that so you don't have, so you know, because that's a whole extra day if you need I, it. I know. <laughs> that's amazing. Congrats. Anybody else want to share anything? I will. Yeah, I, I, oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I booked my first vendor event for October, so I'm very excited. Is that Whoa. Jeannie? Yeah. Yay. Yay. Congrats. What type of vendor event? Um, it's an indoor event. It's gonna. It's Halloween theme because it's Halloween weekend. Oh, that'll it's be a, fun. A, yeah, it's a friend who um, hosted a party already, and Do she does these vendor events. So, <laughs> she oh, that's awesome. Congrats. Anybody else? I think, uh, Danny, were you going to share? Yeah, I um, I joined at the end of July as well. Um, okay. on, I want to say the 23rd. And I hit BQ by the 15th. Ooh. And I also hit my jump start. I'm, you did? Your thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm like, I'm like in the 1400s now. So, wow. So, you're on your way to your second. That is great. Yeah. Lots of good things happening for you guys. That's so exciting. All right. It's 8.01. I'm giving people one more minute to hop in and then we're going <clears> to <throat> start so we can get off on time. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Anything cool that's happened with your business? Tried something new? Hit a goal? Oh. I'll share something, Debbie. Okay, let's, let's hear it, Vicki. I did my very first live over uh, in-person party over the weekend. You it's did? Crazy. How did it go? Yeah. yeah, it went really well. It went really well. And um, my hostess earned all the strips. She was a new hostess. Oh, that's amazing. So tell me your takeaways from doing it in-person compared to a vending. Um, well, I mean, I mean a, a Facebook, I'm sorry. There's so much more interaction because you're face to face with everybody. 
you know, and everybody's really excited about trying on the samples. I actually had a couple people that tried to do full manicures with all the samples. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, they will. They'll take all the twos. Yeah. 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 But um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun just meeting everybody face to face and seeing the excitement, you know, of looking at everything, trying the samples on and everything like that. So and she hit her three hundred dollars within two days. Oh, that's of great. Her, of her party. So did so you find exciting. most the people bought that were in person? Uh, yes, they all did. Yeah. Yep. Makes a big difference. Yeah. Seeing it and being there. Well, that is great. Did you use party cards? Uh, I did. Okay. I did. And, you know, and sometimes they went off a little bit, you know, uh, because the conversation went, you know, a little off, you know, here and there and stuff. But I tried to stay on track. And but I had them, I had them there, you know, with me to refer back to everything. And um, so everything was good. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. If you're just tuning in, we were giving people a few minutes to hop in and we were just kind of sharing some um, people are sharing things that have happened. So we've had people that hit their jump start, did their first live party, um, be cued. Um, what else did we have? There was one other not jumpstart what was one more we had vendor event oh yeah first vending event. so congrats to everybody congrats to everybody on the call who tried something new that hit a goal um but we're we're all really excited okay so i'm going to mute you guys because i know we have it's hard to keep uh give me a sec why can't I get that? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So welcome to our call. I am Debbie Bry. I'm one of your uplines. So raise your hand if this is your first team call virtually. Do we have any new people? Oh, I see Maria. Anybody else? kind of scrolling through. If you have your camera off and you want to turn your camera on, we don't judge for what you look like. Oh, ladies, first um, meeting. Yay. Um, we don't judge for how you look. All right. So if you want to show your face, it definitely gets makes helps people get to see your face. When we had our first in-person meeting last week, it was so fun. Because of all these meetings, sometimes it was hard for me to know if I met them before because, of course, we've seen through Zoom. So it's a great way for other people to see who you are so you can kind of get to know each other on the team. Um, so if you're willing to turn your camera on, um, go ahead. It's also more fun for people to see faces too than just the black box. Um, so welcome. Thanks everybody for being flexible. Um, you know, I know we changed this at the last minute. Usually our calls are the first Monday of the month, but it was um, Labor Day weekend. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, we don't start school till after Labor Day. Um, and I know just in general, a lot of people are winding. It's their last weekend of summer. So <clears throat> um, we decided to do it a week early. And the cool thing about it is that it's going to kick us right off into our new month of um, September. So if you were working on getting your name and recognition and having it said out loud on the call, don't worry, I'll go live and I will still recognize everybody in Beautifully Polished. We're just not going to do recognition on the call tonight because we don't have any new recognition. So that'll come for, um, we'll do that. I'll do that after we get the reports and stuff this week. So we have one more day in the month, everybody. One last day to wind down, to wind up. Remember, don't wait till the last minute to put orders in. The system, if you are new, the system gets slower the later at night you put things in. And so what can happen is it's not going to show you if you're counting on um, sales going in or team members sales, you're, sometimes it's delayed by 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and you're not going to be able to see if you're at those numbers. So don't wait to the last minute. All right. Try to get as many of your sales in as early as you can um, if you're trying to hit goals. And that way you save yourself the stress of wondering if it's happened. Um, you know, anybody with team members or um, leaders, make sure you are watching to make sure all of your things are met in order um, for that to be, you know, for your rank to be hit. 
So just um, FYI on that stuff. If you are close to your next level of enhanced commission, do the math. Sometimes putting an order in yourself ends up making you more money than if you, or gets you more commission than, and you'll end up getting nails plus more than what you put in. If you see what I'm saying by the extra commission. So always look to see how close you are to that next level of enhanced commission, because it can make sense to put an order in yourself through your own party to make the money and to get the free polish. So just a little FYI on that. So always double check where you are. Um, if you're in your jumpstart period, check and see how close you are to your date, all that jazz. Okay, so with that said, today we are going to be talking about, um, about parties and getting um, the importance of parties and getting some theme parties planned. So I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> Hang on. Well, you just saw the last screen. Ah, if you guys see my, that's the last one. Okay, hang on. Can't get rid of the little thing on top of my, there we go. Okay, you, you see it? Okay, I'm gonna scooch this guy up here. All right, so before we get into that, I just wanna share our new um, awareness strip that'll be coming out next week. Um, well, I shouldn't say that, they were gonna confirm and I didn't check back today to see if they fully confirmed it. They thought it was gonna be next Tuesday, but then they said they weren't 100%, they were gonna get back with us. Um, can anybody speak up if they saw if that was confirmed? Okay, I, I had company come in town, so I didn't get to go back and look. Okay, so ovarian cancer awareness. Um, so for September, if you are new, about every other month, we have a foundation um, set that comes out. It's a great way that Color Street is able to give back to um, different organizations, raising awareness for um, different things. So it's a great way when people purchase these nails sets, money is given, um, two foundations. So for the month of September, we are looking at ovarian cancer. Um, I thought I had everyone muted, but if you're not muted, go ahead and mute yourself. So nearly 22,000, I was fascinated by these stats today. Nearly 22,000 women in the US are diagnosed each year and approximately 14,000 women die from the disease. One in 78 will develop ovarian cancer in her lifetime. I had no idea it was that high. Number five cause of cancer related death in women. There's no early detection tests. Annual doctor visits like pap smears will not diagnose. Women need to be aware of the signs and take early action. So educating women and their families about the symptoms is key. Um, some signs and symptoms could be bloating, loss of appetite, feeling full quickly, pelvic back pain or ab abdominal pain, changes in menstruation, menstrual cycle and urinary frequency. So um, definitely, I don't know about you guys, I can feel any of those on any given day, <laughs> but um, you know, pay attention to those um, symptoms. That's some pretty, like I said, I was surprised to see those stats today. Um, most cases are diagnosed in the later stages where the five-year survival rate is 48% and the 10-year survival rate is 35%. If diagnosed and treated early when the cancer is confined to the ovary, the five-year survival rate is 90%. Wow. So that goes up a big amount. So I'm really excited. I don't know if you have someone in your life who has been touched by ovarian cancer, but um, you know, I, that's, I'm, it's, it's a pretty amazing thing for women to be able to have this foundation and have this put out there. So um, if, again, if you're new, they'll, hopefully come out next week, but it's a great way to create excitement in your VIP group, in your parties. A lot of people follow, um, follow these foundation sets because they're very important to them. So it's a great way, or it's a great way if you know somebody that has struggled with this or had it, or a family member, what a great thing for you to be able to send them a set, you know, free just thinking about you. Um, so use these foundation sets to build your business, um, bring about awareness 
And maybe even in your VIP group, people could, um, you know, maybe you have a post about sharing stories or, you know, it might be too vulnerable of a case to talk about, but other times people might be more than happy to share something. So it really brings, um, can help build relationships in your groups or even on your personal page by promoting things um, like these sets. So that should be coming out very soon. All right. Um, we're going to go through training and then we're going to open it up at the end. So um, for some sharing and then if we have questions. So, all right, let's talk about what's happening. We are coming up and I know I've said this a bajillion times. We are coming up to the busiest time in um, direct sales, sales in general, but direct sales. We are coming up to fall in the holiday shopping season, right? So what better way to work your business than through parties? All right. Um, you know, we just had our fall launch this month, right? Which is super exciting. Everybody was, I felt like everyone was in this rush to post the catalog. But remember, we're not in a rush because we have this catalog now till our spring catalog next February or March. We have it for a long time. So we always want to be creating excitement um, with not just new releases like Halloween and holiday, but with the current catalog that we're using at the time. All right. So the goal is to keep the excitement going with this catalog and not let it die out because it was released in August and then just think like it's old news. Now what else is coming out? There's no way all your customers bought all 27 sets. I can't imagine. There's a lot of sets for them to get through. And so when you keep sharing with them and putting different sets in front of them and showing combinations with them, you keep creating excitement um, with them to get them to go back to that catalog. All right. So by creating that excitement, it's a mixture of your enthusiasm, motivation, intuition, and a little bit of creativity. So what you're doing with it. Um, <clears throat> so your goal should be to create a plan to keep the excitement high and continue past the announcement of the new catalog. You know, I had someone message me last month and say, I, I just can't even or this month, I guess, August, I can't get to fall nails yet. And I said, that's okay, because we're not in a rush. You're going to have this catalog for a long time. Um, so negative. today we're going to talk about the strategy to create excitement and keep it going. Nail bar themes to keep it fresh, keep that excitement fresh and booking nail bars from nail bars. All right. A catalog launch creates excitement, but how do you sustain it? Hey, Debbie. How yeah. Do you want to, um, your pictures aren't showing up. I, well, I thought there were supposed to be pictures. No yeah, there's pictures. supposed to be pictures on there and there's supposed to be a background. So I'm not really sure where that went. Oh, that's okay. Hang on. I'm sorry. I I maybe I really want it for the mind. I'm like, I know there's supposed to be pictures. <laughs> I can share the one I have for you if you want. Oh, hang on. I know what. Just a sec. Am I sharing right now? No. Okay, just a second. Sorry. I no, think you probably okay. want the pictures. Well, I thought there was a foundation picture. So that's why I thought I was losing my mind. Okay, hang on. Give me a second, you guys. Thanks for telling me, Dar. Sure. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, just a sec. I'm going into where I saved it in my hard drive instead of just the one I had on my desktop. Well, you might be sharing it, Dar, because all my pictures are totally gone. That's, That's really weird. It says this picture can't be displayed on my whole entire thing. <laughs> I have no idea why. That's really weird. Hold on, let me get to where it is on my... I guess I could go into where I sent it to you, because I would think that's yes. right. Yeah, that one looks fine. 
Okay, let me go in there. Thanks for being patient, everyone. Hang on. Almost there. If they're gone off here, then something is really wonky with my... Okay, they're here. Phew. All right, so now let me go. Back and share my screen. Okay. You probably want to click on it on the enable editing. Well, I'm just trying to get rid of this. Uh, oh, the little thing. How do I get how do I get rid of the just do view slideshow? Go to slideshow. I know I can't. Um, She's got the our pictures our probably on there in front of it. I can't get to, I can't get to it. Hang on. See how the there's a bar. little oh, I can move Debbie. It. There I got there's it. a little, yeah, I was to say you can use an arrow to move the zoom thing to the yeah, bottom. I did not know that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Oh, we still didn't get a picture. Why was I thinking there was a picture of that? There we go. There's the cute little picture of that. Okay, so now let me go. Okay. So a catalog launch creates excitement. Thank you guys. Um, creates excitement. So how do you sustain it? So if you're thinking that a new catalog with 27 styles, are you thinking that it's going to help make it easy to generate excitement? Because you're not wrong. It totally will. Everyone sees it. We have been so excited, right? Waiting for this fall catalog to come out. However, think of any retail store, right? They have their new fall line coming out, their new spring line. But you need people, a reason to get people to keep coming back, right? They come in, you have your fall clothes put in the store. They come in to get an outfit. But what's going to keep drawing them back to buy more from that fall line? We need to think of our catalog as the same way. We created all this excitement before it came out, right? We, we um, were posting graphics, maybe giving them clues and hints. All of a sudden it comes out but we can't let it die there. We want them to keep coming back to our catalog. All right, our catalog lasts five to six months. So we need people to keep coming back. So creating these theme nail bars, which a lot of us already do different theme nail bars through um, our Facebook parties, but creating them for in-person and social media with strategies will help keep your customers interested and motivate them to book nail bars from nail bars. That's always the easiest way is a nail bar from a nail bar. It's gonna attract your VIP customers to shop from this collection over and over again. All right, so you have the creativity and the power to drive your customers to focus on the part of the collection at different times. So when they come to another event, let's say they have a party and then their friend books a party. You gotta mix things up. You can't have that same party every time, right? They feel like they're seeing the same things over and over. So you have to be creative in how you can present the same sets of polish in a different way to, to people when they're coming back. So by doing this and coming up with different ways, this is going to help you take away that feeling that you need to offer extra incentives to get people to come back and shop. You should not have to offer the extra incentives if you get them excited about what there is that we have to offer. So let's um, dive into how to keep this excitement going. All right. Um, engage, educate, and entertain. So three, the three E's we'll call them. All right. You want people to find value by feeling like they were engaged in the party, educated in what we have to offer and entertained. I guess I, I skipped ahead. I'll stay there. Um, engagement, that's getting people, making the people feel or making the customers feel that they're important, appreciated, and seen. All right, you wanna make them feel good coming to that party. Education, 
you're offering new educational content so they feel like they received a new tip, idea, or understanding they didn't have before. So again, if you're booking a party from a party, don't do the exact same things you did in that first party. Change it up a little bit so those, if it's the same people, they're going to get re-engaged. They're going to learn something new that, that you weren't able to tell them or didn't tell them last time. It does not always have to be nail, nail theme related. It can be something different. Um, and then you want to provide them entertainment. So again, posts and interactions that are different from that other party. All right. You want it to be fun and enjoyable for them. All right. Um, if you put all of these three elements together in every event, you're going to keep your the customers and your audience coming back for more. If you have the same content, you you know, let's say you're using the Monica RC party. It's a great party, but let's say you're using the exact same pictures month after month and you're getting repeat customers, they're going to get disengaged. They're going to say, oh, I, I just did that with her. All right. So it sometimes can make you feel you're doing the same thing, but it can make your customers feel the same way. So, and it also makes people say, oh, I'm just going to wait for the next collection to come out. I'm just going to wait. We don't want them to wait for the next collection. We want them to be just as excited about these fall sets. Because if friends went to one friend's party and then they went to the next friend's party, there's no way, again, they ordered all the sets. All right. I cannot imagine they ordered 27 sets. So there's reason for them to go back. There's still more sets they can buy. So you just have to find the way to get them there and to make your party exciting. All right, so this is gonna be amazing. So we had our senior director call today. Color Street has started with the nail bar that Darlene's gonna show you next, um, where they created some graphics. They worked with Norma Clark and her Norma Clark's graphics group. And they worked with them to create graphics and they wanna do this ongoing where they provide us Theme bar, three, themed nail bar graphics that fit these three E's to help us move our um, theme parties forward. So it's so exciting. Lisa was talking about different things that they have in the works that they're thinking about. So she said they'd love to get ideas. So that'll be really fun and something to look forward to. Um, so what if you had this basic nail bar template to help you know what to cover with the flexibility of just changing up some of the items to make it fresh and new. That would be so amazing. Um, so with the help you know, of Norma and some other people from the 2021 co um, National Conference, they did create these templates for us. Um, so we're gonna look over, Darlene's gonna show you in a second and they look beautiful, all right? Um, so if you look on here, if this will be in the, um, this will be a PDF that's going to be in your app, which I already looked. It's not there. Um, under resources. If you, so if you go to the app, you go to uh, resources and then stylist resources, they'll be there once they come in. So they will have these graphics created for both social media and in-person nail bar themes. So cannot wait. So Darlene, I'm going to let you take it away from there, um, showing our fall theme. Hey, everybody. I'm so excited about this. They um, they blew us away uh, with our um, this regional deck this time and talking about um, our, um, our our nail bars and being and doing themes for us. Um, so what their purpose is, what we're trying to do is so that we have a couple of different themed nail bars that you can offer potential hosts and to market at your current nail bars. Um, so it's always best to get a nail bar from a nail bar, right? But if you're offering um, different themes, it might it might just like, um, it, uh, it might appeal to one person over another. Um, so right now we're going to go over the um, back to school theme that they did for us, which is really cool. And they're, they're working on a Halloween one too. So super fun. I can't wait to see that one. Um, so getting bookings from your current nail bars is, is the best time really, because people are excited at, at, at the nail bar and by building that excitement for other themed events they'll be more likely to say say yes right then and there um 
<clears throat> a lot of our existing templates for po basic post information can just be updated visually by changing the borders, the colors, the fonts, the themes, and all of that. Um, a lot of us use Canva, and it's been really a lifesaver for me because I just use the words. I leave the words in there most of the time and then change the background <laughs> graphic. Um, I started using this one that's right here on the themed nail bars and then just put like a, a box over it, trains the transparency and put some words on it. And um, it, it's really, really nice. Um, so the things that you want to make sure that you're refreshing is your Facebook photo cover, of course, because you're going to have a different nail, uh, different host, um, two to three interactive posts. So change those posts a little bit up. You might say, you know, like, um, do you like solids or glitters? And that's the one in, in uh, Monica's post. Um, and instead of that, you could use a, a different kind of post. Like, um, do you like, do you like, um, glitter overlays or, um, you know, I don't, I don't know. You can change that post a little bit um, and use something different. So there's a lot of different interactive posts. You don't have to have something like this or that kind of thing in that particular spot. But so you want to change those. And one to three posts around your theme with education, like how to's, did you know, fun ideas, recipes, many instructions, things like that. One to two different and new looks from the fall line. Um, and then one to two games. By sticking to this general format, but changing up the content of these items, people leave feeling like it was totally off a new experience, even though you took them through the same sales process that you always do by going through the color 10 rhythm, connect, offer, listen, overcome objections, and recruit. Um, since most bookings happen three to five weeks apart, you'll be able to use most of the templates over and over again once you create them. <clears throat> Um, so let's look at some ideas and walk through one of them in a nail bar situation. Um, so here's September. <clears throat> here's a few ideas, uh, September, October, no the rest of the year. So we're in the last quarter of the year. I cannot believe it. People are back to school. And so we're talking about back to school theme, tailgate, football's going to start, or it has started already, uh, fall trends, um, and it's going to highlight how Color Street is keeping up with the seasonal trends and how to wear fall fashion and our catalog shades options together. Um, so October costume parties, pumpkin carving, Oktoberfest, um, um, November for s'mores, s'more fun with friends is one of the ideas there, as you can see, cider and sweaters, holiday favorites, um, December ugly sweater party. We have had that before in our beautifully polished team. Um, those are super fun, naughty or nice, cross off your list kind of things. Um, the goal is to make every nail bar unique so everyone in attendance has a new and fun experience and to encourage new booking for the next fresh and exciting nail bar. So let's take a look at a back to school nail bar. Isn't this super fun? Look at this. So on Monica's, um, Monica's mock party, she does a cover photo that shows the host and the stylist. So um, she's using the actual nail set, get in line. It's back to school party time. So that's pretty cool. Um, and these graphics, like um, Debbie said, these are gonna be available to us. Um, they're gonna work on getting them in the back office for us, for everyone, not just in the graphics group. So um, <clears throat> they're moving them into the graphics group. They just had Norma kind of help them this time to get started on doing this. And this is the, this is the process that they wanna go through. Um, and, and just start helping us with different themes for the whole year. They're great, great. Um, so moms love to reconnect after school begins and share experiences, children's stories, and catch up. And they created, we've created a fun theme that does just that while taking everyone back to their own high school days. Um, every event starts with a cover photo. So this sets up the theme and it's also a great way to make it personal by using a photo of your host. This is ideal since the guests have the connection with the host. Don't forget to introduce yourself to them and start to build relationships. And we want to say a huge shout out again to Norma Clark. Um, for the graphics. To see even more creations, be sure to join the original graphics group for dry nail polish by Norma Clark. And um, if someone could post the link in the chat, that'd be great. Next slide, please. Deb? Hello? I know, I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. I couldn't get it for some reason. 
Oh, shoot. Now I'm two ahead. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so you want to begin by creating conversation with posts to get guests to share information. Remember, to fully engage the guest, you must go beyond posting and remember to respond to their post comments to get to know them and reinforce that connection. So if you're responding to their comments, right, you know, it's, as you're going through the party, your algorithm is also increasing. So it's going to show that to more people in the party. So you want to make sure that you are, are creating those connections. Um, you want to interact with guests further by asking questions such as the following things. How long have you known the host? Did you sit with the host at lunch? <laughs> what was your favorite bag lunch or cafeteria food? Those kinds of things. And uh, um, you can do a who knows the, the host bet the most. Um, and I think this is a fun play on it. Um, they She put on who's spot on because that's our that's one of our clear overlays that came back um, for the fall catalog. So as guests are commenting, look for opportunities to relate to guest answers. So you, you know the me too factor we talk about, that's like, hey, me too, that was my favorite lunch as well. Um, that helps build your relationships and finds out what you have in common. Next slide, please. <laughs> And here's the education post. You want to add value to the nail bar by sharing a little education based on a theme. So this also shows that you care about people and want to help share ideas, not just sell to them. This builds the essential no like trust factor. Here we have an example of um, sharing great conversations with their children as they come off the bus and through the door. We know asking questions in the right way can open up a conversation. Um, then maybe you won't get those. Yeah, no. Did you have a good day? No. So some of some of like questions that you can ask them, tell me about your the best part of your day. Um, I used to tell my daughter, what what was good that happened today? So that it would totally take the negativity out of it. <laughs> Next slide, please. Um, here's another example of using an internet search to find topical information that you can share. You don't have to be an expert. Prep your customers to get an A plus at their parent teacher conference by being prepared and bringing Color Street along as a thank you. You'll always upsell, always upsell by bringing, um, bringing up gift suggestions for everyone's teachers. And during the nail bar, you'll be sharing information about customer bundle pricing and follow looks to share it within the theme. This makes every nail bar theme feel different and fresh. Remember not to use the graphics, same graphics over and over, which can make the nail bar feel old and boring. Keep it fresh and fun. Um, I love this that she used Gleam on with your school colors, which is kind of fun. Um, though both of those graphics are really beautiful. So, and this or that. Update your this or that to incorporate the, the theme for back to school. And um, it's also, um, you know, these are fall, our fall, our new fall colors. Um, it's subtle, but it helps to keep the nail, nail bar cohesive. So engagement posts, um, here are a few more engagement post ideas. Have fun and don't be afraid to personalize them. So where, you know, where would, where, could you be found after school? So you're a math in the math club at sports, work, detention, <laughs> hopefully not detention, drama club. Um, and you can do a predictive, te uh, predictive test text post. What, what would you be voted for? I would most likely be most likely to blank. So they're really good. Yes, yeah, Stephanie. <laughs> Next slide. Um, games are always a fun and positive and a fun and great, a, a great fun and positive reason to give out those extra raffle tickets for participation. Um, here's an idea for a scavenger hunt based on the back to school theme. So scavenger hunt, find a notebook, a mask, ruler, apple, uh, backpack. Flake my day and find the following. <laughs> I see, I mean, she's just like making that right into our fall catalog names, which I don't know about y'all, but I'd love to be in that room when they name them. Um, entertainment posts, um, 
you, uh, we know hosts make the best new stylists, but there may be other potential stylists in attendance who are having fun and who think they could see themselves starting a Color Street business. Remember, you want to be duplicatable. This slide lets you share that every personality belongs at Color Street and could make gr a great Q&A for even more raffle tickets. So we, who would make the best Color Street stylist? Um, and answer all of the above, obviously. So, so that's a super fun graphic right there. Um, and um, booking nail bars from nail bars. This is a foundational skill to learn. Um, if um, there's a, on our next slide, we're gonna show you um, like the a launch plus four idea as well um, to kind of give you a better idea of how that works. If nail bars are a foundational business activity, knowing how to book nail bars from nail bars is a foundational skill. The goal is to book two nail bars from every nail bar held, one nail bar to replace and one nail bar to grow. If you want to fast track your growth, then book a third. <clears throat> At a nail bar, there is a captive audience. Make it the most by filling your future nail bar dates. Work smarter, not harder. <clears throat> Think about this. If you currently spend 15 to 30 minutes per week booking nail bars, you would be giving yourself time back to spend in other areas in your business or life because your bookings are, are taken care of from every nail bar that you, you hold. So you're basically saving yourself time. If you can get your nail bars booked from your current nail bar, then you don't have to spend time looking for those nail bars. Um, have a leader share how they, um, so do we have someone that would like to share how they book nail bars from nail bars? Do we have a leader that's on that would like to share how they do it? And Amanda? Booking games. Yeah, booking games. Yeah, we I love a good booking, booking game. game. Yeah, the dice game. I know a lot of people use that. Um, also, um, we have used things like um, pineapples. So, you know, everybody loves to help the hostess. Um, so there's one that says there's three pineapples. And um, once three pineapples show up for every party that's booked from this party, um, there'll be a pineapple that shows up. And then once we get to three, the hostess will get an extra, su extra surprise from me. Um, so I've used that one before, um, but the booking games are really, 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 really fun. They, they help a lot. I've had luck with asking the hostess who might like to have a party. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Jen so Massey. Do that too. Yep. Okay. So this is a visual about, um, about like the, the scenario of booking parties from parties. So um, and we're going to take a look at what difference it makes. Hold on just a second. I'm sorry. Can you help me? Um, I am in a meeting. Here. Doing trash. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, you can have a nail bar and book one nail bar from it. And that's great. And you're moving. But look at the difference when you book two nail bars from every nail bar. This exponential growth and opportunity. Uh, this is exponential growth and opportunity. Um, <clears throat> pause a moment and think about the potential income you would earn from this as you do things such as host coaching, determining the guest list, offering a fun party experience, and providing great customer service. Think about the impact this would have on new members in your VIP group, new connections, new conversations, and new fun. Are you currently satisfied with the amount of amount you're earning? Are you are you where you would want to be in your business right now? Nail bars are how you can grow and reach your goals. Here's a fun themed post that uh, assumes your nail bar guest will say yes. Just ask them what theme they are signing up for. Be sure to mention that their friend, the host, earns extra product credit when they say yes to hosting. Aim for two bookings from every nail bar. There we go. And now here's Amanda Rebecca. Hi guys, uh, I'm Amanda Rebecca. If, if I've never met you guys, um, thank you for being here, whether you're watching live or on the replay. I think this one's super helpful. And um, I've got a, a few other things to share. A lot of it has to do with Norma Clark's group. Um, but I wanted to start here because I want you guys to brainstorm some nail bar themes. So I want you guys to put them in the chat so people can see them. It'll be hard for us all to talk at once, but think of some nail bar themes and you, this can be in person or this can be virtual. And to me, a lot of the themed nail bars can be used either. 
Um, so I don't really have any one specific thing in mind. Uh, you know, I don't think about a theme and then think about how I want to do it. I think there's a lot of good ones out there. So watch them as they come in. I've used Manny's and Muffins. Horror films. Ooh, I like that one, Jessica. Pizza and Polish. That's adorable. Uh, tailgate. Yes, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of football themed nail bars. Um, you'll be seeing some people, you know, in your group. Um, or if you're Facebook friends with them, you know, going to their own kids sporting events, or maybe you see they're a, you know, a fan of the Green Bay Packers, or I don't know, I think there's some Detroit Lions fans out there still, maybe the Lions, um, but wherever they may be themed, you could do that chips, dips, and fingertips, see a lot of tailgate, fall, pumpkins, hot celebrities, Jessica, I like your themes. <laughs> All right, so you guys jot some down if they strike your interest, but here's the thing. Uh, Debbie, go ahead and move on to the next slide. There you go. Okay, uh, themed party cards. Okay, so here are some different themes, okay, that are out there. Uh, some of these were already mentioned, but what I want you to think about is how easy it is to get these already made for you. Now, Darlene talked about um, Canva. I'm also a big Canva fan. It's very easy to share with Canva. I know I share some stuff with Dar, she shares back and that happens amongst the team. So if you, if you have a Canva account and you get used to using it, it is very easily transferred from person to person, which is really nice. You can actually share a link and they can use something as a template. But here's the thing, your money is not making graphics. I love making graphics. It's a super fun thing that I like to do on the side, but it is not an income producing activity. So if you get good at it and you're quicker, then it's worth your time. But there are so many great themes in Norma Clark's group already that I would not try to reinvent the wheel. I would try to use those first before I try to become a master at Canva, because as Debbie said, this is the best time. This is our busiest season. So if you want to spend time with your color free business and you want to maximize that time for money, you're going to want to use something that's already made. I looked at Norma's group and these are the things that came up immediately just from me putting theme nail bars. I saw live well, use falling in love with color street, but there's a ton of fall graphic themes. So there's all kinds of cute names, fall in love with color street, falling in love with color street, whatever. Back to school as Dar shared. Um, and, and I know Darlene shared some too for the different months coming up. So some of these are crossovers. There was friends, dinosaur, birthday parties, candy, cows, dogs, nautical, the list goes on and on. That was from a very quick search in her group where I just put party themes and all these graphics came up. Just make sure to try. Yeah, I try not to use someone with someone's name on them, but if they put them in the graphics group, and you really want to use them. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I use nail feeds with people's names on it too. It is nice to use your own, but if you can find some for a theme that fits one of your VIPs, just go for it. Um, I have my name or my website on my graphics that I use in my nail bars, but I don't know if it really sticks with anybody. So I would just suggest really trying to find a theme. You want to skip to the next one, Debbie? But there's so many out there. So what I would suggest, and this is kind of what, what I really wanted to focus on was the strategy. What do you want to do? So Dar gave you, and, and she said, um, you know, corporate is starting to put these together, which I love, love, love. Um, I think that's awesome. It's going to give you some great ideas. And again, allow you to spend the time on the, the best activities that you can do, which are actually booking and holding nail bars right? And just connecting with people and building those relationships. That's where you want to spend your time. So what I would do is I would think about how are you going to spread the fall catalog over the next couple of months? I know people have more than four sets on their wish list. If they already did buy three, get one, you know, they're going to want some of the other sets. And we have our best selling holiday sets of the year. I would argue Halloween is our best holiday collection that launches in terms of people just go crazy over it. And it's over a little bit shorter window. Our holiday collections usually October. I don't know that for sure, um, but we usually have that, and you know, for October, and November, and obviously for the different holidays and Christmas and whatever else, uh, New Year's and things that come about then. But definitely maximize these launches, but also focus on those fall sets. 
focus on those 27 brand new sets and just the catalog in general. You want to think about who's your target audience. Because themed nail bars don't have to go with a specific collection unless you're doing it surrounding a holiday. Of course, Halloween is going to be all the rage in September because people are going to buy them in September to wear them all month long in October. Those people that love Halloween or even that just like it, they're going to want to, I'm sure, pick more than one set out of the collection. So September is typically when we do a lot of our Halloween themed nail bars even though it's not until October, but there's some other great ones too, back to school, fall, et cetera. But Halloween's gonna be a big one. One of the things that you will want to do is you're strategizing and thinking of not only themes, but how many nail bars you wanna book. You know, how many nail bars do you wanna book? And then in your VIP group, think of how you want to engage your people or even in parties to be able to book nail bars. Um, somebody had, posted in one, I'm in a, like just a leader chat. And actually this woman just posted, I got a few parties from this. All she did was post like a Halloween graphic. And she said, this is what she typed. I'm ad living. This isn't her exact words, but Halloween is one of our best selling collections. Or I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Are you one of the, uh, one of those? Oh no, wait, let me go back. Sorry, I write really sloppy and I try to do better. Okay, Halloween is one of our best selling collections and we all know some people, maybe even you, uh, go crazy for this holiday. Are you one of those Halloween lovers? Do you go crazy for skeleton and pumpkins? What about some glow in the dark nail polish or even, you know, pumpkins, whatever you wanna say. Drop a, and then give them an emoji. Um, I've got some spooky news for you. So do a little something with a Halloween graphic if you don't know in your VIP group who loves Halloween, this might be a great way to see, and they may be commenting, I want to know. Now, they're going to probably think that you have the sets, but you don't, right? We don't know our Halloween collection, but we do know that there's a September exclusive, which is a glow-in-the-dark polish. That's where you can share that. That's where you can share, we're going to have our Halloween collection launching soon. Um, I'm doing Halloween-themed nail bars this month, and if you love it, this is going to be something offered to a... Um, to September hostesses only. Would you be interested in booking one, right? I've already said how many I want. So I know that that's the number I'm gonna be reaching out for, but I do an engagement post, but then I'm messaging every single one of the people who say, yes, I love Halloween. And I guarantee there's gonna be someone in your VIP group, no matter how big or small, okay? Now you can do that with other things. You can ask your VIPers to post, what are three things that you love that other people may not? or drop a gif of something that you absolutely love, they may drop a gif of a dog or a cow or I don't know, um, friends, the show friends. You know, I mentioned those as themes, but they can be posting things and then you can reach out to them and try to find a theme that has already made that fit something that they like. But you're gonna wanna get to know them. That's what theme nail bars are all about. You can also send a message. My goal is to do four brand new parties in September tailored to each of my hostesses. I have some fun things, fun themes available and wasn't sure if you were interested in checking them out. That would be something that I message them. That's something that I message VIPers or people in parties to get those bookings. So I'm saying I'm doing four different nail bars. Now I may not make them. If I'm Dar, I may have it in Canva and may be able to switch the background very quickly or I can use some of those graphics that are already made. Um, but you can see how the interaction paired with messaging is really going to help you hit these goals. So that's the strategy that you wanna set. What do you wanna post? Um, how are you going to respond? Make sure you carve out 10 minutes to make sure that you're looking at those comments and responding back. Okay, message sent. They're sending you a message now, right? That, those are the things I'm commenting back to them. All right, go ahead, Debbie. So this is your call to action. So we want you to create a social media calendar. We have one in Beautifully Polished. There are, again, social media calendars in Norma's group, I know for sure. Um, and I, I know all of us have access to, to probably more than one social media um, calendar that you can use. Basically, that's just going to give you an idea of something that you could post every day. But in terms of booking nail bars, to me, you have to be a little bit more intentional. This is just to maintain your VIP group. To me, that's what social media calendars are for. When you're going for party bookings, you wanna be a little more intentional with your post. 
um, or posts and also with what you're going to want to message. So think of at least four people right now that you would like to offer the hosting opportunity to and message them within 48 hours. Like I said, check out Norma's group, check out all the different themes and then have some things in mind. Get some interaction going in your VIP group for just things they love or who loves Halloween or however you want to do it. Who loves fall? Um, who else likes glow in the dark, you know, glow in the dark things or whatever, whatever you want to do to get that interaction going and then get those messages sent out. And then when you get those nail bars, commit to booking two nail bars. Dar gave some great suggestions. And then people were saying, you know, I said booking games. There's other ways of doing it. But for me, I get most of my bookings in Messenger, whether it's from responding to a booking game or just connecting with people, following up, um, you know, or messaging my VIP members as well. That's where I'm getting a lot of my nail bars. And so when you're in a nail bar, really commit to getting two nail bars and also commit to getting them to your VIP group. You want to keep them with you and build a relationship because you may not want to offer a nail bar right away if you haven't interacted with them much in the group, but getting them into your VIP group is going to help you to get to know them a little bit better. So that's also something that you can do rather than just reaching out, do you want a nail bar kind of thing, you know, see what they like, see what they're interested in. Okay, go ahead. All right, on to the news and updates. So I did not... Um, I'm sorry, I, was, I, I thought, sorry, I thought I saw something in the chat, but I didn't. It looks like you guys are answering. That's good. Um, oh, we've got some news and updates. So Debbie, you can go ahead and move along from there. Um, host is special. We've already talked about this a little bit, right? This is something that I would message as I know people are excited about Halloween. And I may say, this is something that is, um, you know, available only to people who hold qualifying nail bars in the month of September. I usually use that word qualifying anyway, but whenever there's an incentive, I always make sure to use that word qualifying. Very few people ask me what that is. I do not go into the details unless they ask because I share with them what hostess rewards are. They know that our hostess rewards start at 150. I'm assuming that's what unlocks it for this nail bar. I have not seen, does anybody know for sure? I assume it's 150. It is 150 dollars, okay. So one fit, because before they've done some at 300, but I like that they're using 150 because that's technically our qualifying number for any nail bar. That's when hostess rewards start. So if you just get used to using that word, like any September hostess um, or any you know, hostess in September who holds a qualifying nail bar will have access to this super fun glow in the dark set, right? Like something like that. So I, it's totally cool. We've gotten one of these um, for... I think we got it at one of our um, conferences, maybe something like this. Um, yeah, so Dar's right, three separate orders and at least three orders and 150 in sales. So always make sure your hostess knows that. Okay, go ahead, Debbie. Also, just as a reminder, Circle of Excellence is in full effect, right? Circle of Excellence is enroll to 1,000 PV. Which, by the way, I don't know if we have any Canadians on here, but I wore my Canada shirt. Welcome if this is your first meeting. Are there any Canadians? Did you guys ask that already? I got, I didn't hear that. Do we have any Canadians on here? We do? Okay, yay, welcome. Okay, so I wore my shirt. I've had this for two years, <laughs> anticipating this launch. <laughs> yay, I see some flags. Okay, um, so I'm trying to use PV uh, to make sure that we're on the right track, but make sure you guys access all of these are accessible in the back office. So there's some more tips with tech in just a minute um, that I'm gonna go over, but keep your eye on that. You know, stylist, senior BQ stylist or senior stylist that is extra money in your pocket right? And then team leader, it's even more and director and so on. So, you know, if you've sold a thousand dollars and you've enrolled one, I know it's getting towards the end of the month, but Dina will tell you she's enrolled at the last second of the last hour to hit circle of excellence every single month for the last, what, 19 months. Um, she's a rock star at it. So don't give up. If you've enrolled two and you haven't sold a thousand, get moving. You don't want to lose out on this money. Not only is it more money in your pocket, obviously with sales, but also um, it gives you that extra bonus. So I love this program. I know we all do. There's trackers. All of these things, you guys are in the back office. 20 months. Oh my gosh. Yes. Because this month as well. 
Um, okay, so go ahead, Debbie. Next slide. Uh, just a reminder too, we've got destination uh, Maya Riviera or Riviera Maya. Um, and again, these trackers are in the back office. Those of you who joined us um, in August, you can earn this trip. We've had the same amount of points starting in August before and ending in January as we're ending this time. We started in July, but we've had it where we've started in August before. And there's many of us on this call that have earned uh, multiple trips. It is possible. Go for it. Look at that tracker. See what you have to do each and every month. Look at, obviously, your August is almost done, right? Look at what you did in August and then think about what you want to do in September, October, November, December, and January. You have five months to divide all of those other points up and make sure that you are um, hitting that goal because I'm telling you, you won't want to miss out. So go for it. Go for it now because you don't want to do it in three months and then think, oh, I wish I would have really pushed for it then and then feel like you're behind the eight ball at that point. So definitely something that is super exciting. Uh, okay, again, that's in the back office. Tech tip, speaking of, all of the resources are there, you guys. You can get it in different languages. Um, you can, yes, you can get it in Spanish and English, I believe. Um, let's see, PDF share that only speak French. So there's some in French as well. Um, I know we have some French Canadians on the team. We may have some others that speak French. Um, but yeah, so definitely make sure that you're seeing all those things. I definitely like to access some resources on the computer. You can do it through the app. Um, I just do find it. This is the view you're going to get when you're logged into a, a desktop or a laptop. All right, Debbie. Customer service, those are the hours, just as a reminder. Um, you know, I people ask me all the time about things, you, you know, about the app or about the website or about something they're not seeing. You guys, our customer service is really amazing. They, they get back to you if a customer has a set, there's something wrong with it. I always tell my customer to submit a, you know, send me a picture um, of the back of the set so I, they can see the lot number and her order. Um, that's helpful if I have it, but usually I can see the order number. Um, and then I always like to, when I can, if there's an issue with a set or something like that, or the wrong set was sent, which happens every once in a while, um, I just have those pictures. I upload them, you know, when I submit my ticket and they're really good to go. So that's, that's been fantastic. Okay, go ahead, Debbie. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, stay connected. Uh, we've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. And then we've got Monday newsletter, Tuesday call. And then we've got connect the dots three days a week and new stylist training calls. And obviously you wanna make sure that you're getting the text alerts, um, which they'll remind you about Tuesday trainings um, and a few other things. So I don't want my <coughs> husband spraying over here, but it's making me cough. Okay, go ahead, Debbie. All right, we're gonna leave you with this. And then I think, I don't know, Debbie, you probably wanna wrap it up here, but all you need to know is the future is wide open and you're about to create it by what you do. So we'll leave you with that positive quote, but I'm telling you guys, get those parties booked for September. That is my goal tomorrow. I have a couple already on the books, but I'm working to get more in. I am guilty of not doing as many themes because I get really set in my ways with my own parties. But I do know it's not fun to go from party to party and do the same thing. Switching it up just with a few graphics, a few different things that you're doing as interactives um, within nail bars, especially when you're you're booking nail bars from nail bars, is really exciting for the the people in the group and good for the hostess. Um, and it it definitely brings just a little added fun, especially if that theme matches with your hostess. So, like I said, go through the groups. You don't have to be a professional at graphics, but it's definitely something that you can implement pretty easily, but you got to get the nail bars booked first. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are. I'd love to see um, lots of September nail bars, but actually comment right now, who has a September nail bar already on the books? Drop a comment, let us know. We would love to see. I know I do. All right, I'm seeing some yeses, me, me, three. Four, that's awesome, you guys. 
We're always working for the next month. All right, thank you guys for having me tonight. I hope this was helpful. Um, like I said, at for I just started making my own graphics and I've been with Color Street over four years. Uh, and sometimes I make them and waste time and I know that I do. So trust me, don't reinvent the wheel, go get them and then create those fun nail bars. And I guarantee you, it'll uh, add a little, little, little different um, bit of fun in your, in your parties. So do it. I don't think you'll regret it. And I hope we have an amazing end to August and uh, I'm super excited about September. So Debbie, I'm sure you want to close it out. So Pass yeah, it back to you. Thank you, Dar and Amanda, for helping with the meeting tonight. You guys were both amazing. There uh, was. Oh, do you asked about the updates uh, about the um, from the leader call today? Deb? Yeah. There was only one update. To yeah. Clarify the, desert. Um, the hostess ones. Yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. The, the desert floor, they said that it was sold out. <laughs> but the um all of them are and all the incentive shades are for august are of all available in good quantities good that was in question earlier they thought one of them ran out so that is good to know but they did not 100 percent. they didn't send any update on the foundation set i think it'll probably be next week but um so i was not i didn't have the chat open because i was too worried it would cover up the screen for the recording so all questions have been answered. I'm assuming if there were questions going on during it. Dina, hey, were you keeping? If, if, I'm sorry, I saw a question. My host, right, not a question, a comment. My host wasn't able to get it. Um, I, I assume you mean the one that was half off, Kelly, correct? And they want you to contact customer support if that happens. Yep. If it didn't pop up for something that was available to her for the half off, nope, nothing is sold out. There was a, there was a, somebody thought that there were, they were, but there is none at this time. But you guys, listen, I always tell my hostesses, they are sold while supplies last and they've replaced sets in the past. So I have a hostess, actually, I need to get her to close tonight. Um, and I'm always a little nervous the later it is in the month to make sure that they get those sets. So always preface that with your hostess because we've had something subbed in in the past. So just throwing that out there, but you know, if, if it, they, she did not get the prompt for the half off, then definitely contact customer service. Yes, thank you. All right, everybody, thank you again for um, tuning in a week early. And again, can't wait to wrap the month up. I can't wait to see these theme nail bars you come up with. Can't wait to see the graphics Color Street is gonna continue to provide for us. Um, for these parties. So like Amanda said, don't reinvent the wheel, go enormous group, use the ones they offered us. They're super fun to do, but you don't need to be making them yourself. That one page with all those pictures, I can totally, I'll put those in beautifully polished. They might already even be there um, for you to offer those as your theme parties for the next month moving on. So um, I'll put those in there. If you want to print those on your own, I print them on cardstock. Um, but yeah, we have so many resources out there. Use what you have. You don't need to recreate everything. I know it can become, you know, fun and exciting, but do your income producing activities first and then let those be the extras. All right. All right. Again, if you have any questions for the end of the month or you're unsure where you are, you need anything, reach out to your upline leaders to talk through it so they can help you if you're trying to hit a goal and you're not there yet. That's what we're here for, to help you talk through those things. So, oh good, Christy, thank you for putting the graphics group in there. If you're not in Norma's group, it's a great, it's a great, great group. I get tons of my stuff in there. All right, have a great night, everybody. Thank you, bye you guys. Thank you guys. Great job. Bye.